Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? Larry Holder has covered Sean Payton for some time now and uh, obviously was there today as uh, Sean Payton said farewell. Thank you for uh, joining us here. How are you? I'm good. I will say that I am a little surprised that he walked away. Okay. Uh, I, I I just think that he needed a break, and I I appreciate his honesty in saying that. Look, it's not like that. He doesn't think he might not coach again. Uh, he just he kind of just told it like it is. Maybe he does TV, uh, but it, it, it's it's just kind of hard to fathom that. He is not the head coach of the Saints anymore, and I was not at that soundbite press conference. My I started on the uh, on the Saints beat. My second day on the job was Drew Brees' opening press conference when he first signed. But I have been with Sean Payton the entire way, mm. and it's a weird, bizarre day uh, just to know that he's not going to be there uh, as their head coach permanently, and then yet. You look at it in the sense that you reflect on it, and as you said, uh, this franchise is not where it is without him. Uh, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Uh, let me. He spoke for ninety minutes today. Just the process of what we saw today, the emotion, the um, how elaborative he was. What was your reaction listening to this man you've known and talked to for sixteen years? Well, it's you get into some of these press conferences, and it's funny because you when you get you can get Sean Payton going, uh, telling stories and, and reminiscing and things, and when it's not game week and you're not pressing him about injuries and controversies and things, uh, Sean is is very good about these sort of things, uh, and it, it's you don't get to see that a lot in public settings and uh, you know i've been fortunate enough to be around him in many many settings that are not so what's going to happen with mark ingram and you get to see that side of sean payton and you know i think just when you see the way he speaks in some of these situations it, you can almost see why he connects so well with the locker room and connects so well with the coaching staff and uh, you know, you think back on it, he's been around for 15 seasons, 16 years with the organization, and you think of, man, how many life cycles of an NFL locker room has he gone through? And I'd probably say at least three, maybe four, just because the average life cycle of a player in the NFL is only three years or so. And so the fact that you can see why people play for him and uh, you know, he admitted mistakes. And look, the question that I asked is, what were what were some of his biggest regrets as a coach? And he was able to rattle off. One was Rob Ninkovich. Mm -hmm. uh, one was the double reverse against Tampa. Uh, you know, and, and some other things. And, and so, you know, it's when you get him in those settings, you could see that he's not just this hard nosed robot kind of guy. Uh, you know, he had he, he's open and honest and. He said even as the press conference started, he said, I'm going to answer every question that you have until you're just run out. And, uh, you know, that's when Peyton gets in these settings, that's the way he can be. And so it's, uh, you know, it's something that he was definitely ready to answer everything and anything that people wanted to ask. Uh, it was great theater, but it was devastating for a radio show clock, as you could probably well uh, assume. <laughs> yes, your, your, your sponsors are probably wondering, where are my spots, damn it? Uh, they're they're going to be just fine, I uh, promise. Um, there's a, a sort of very obvious what's next type of question. So, I mean, what do you think? Well, it depends on what you mean. What's next? What's for, next for well, him? For, or? Let's both. Let's start. Let's start with uh, with Sean, and then we'll go to the Saints. Yeah, I found his answer, and look, hey, it, it, let's let's assume he's telling the truth. But let, I, I guess today, if there's a day to give him the benefit of the doubt, I guess let's do it today. He says he has not been approached by TV, or that he has not talked to TV, and he says, "Oh well, I see all these reports, and he." He's calling his agent, Don Yee, wondering, oh, what, what, what are we doing? Are we talking to these people or what? And so he said that 
but also admitted that he would be open to doing TV. And then he's not calling it retiring and that maybe one day uh, he could come back and coach again. And, you know, that was, uh, to me, the whole read on, on this whole scenario is that he's not ready to go coach yet, but he's not ready to close the door. And, look, I know you've alluded to it a lot, and it's obvious uh, it's a route that Bill Parcells took, and we know that's that's a mentor slash father figure to him. And, uh, you know, that's uh, so I'm sure that's something I'm sure he talked about with him. I would assume so. And so uh, it's, uh, uh, you know, I, and I was listening on the way home uh, about the uh, the reference that you made to Mike Florio about the the Cowboys job after the 2018 season. That kind of surprised me. I'll be yeah. I'll be shy, I'll be honest. I didn't know that was a thing, and uh, that was uh, uh, so. This is not the first time or second time or third time that Sean Payton's kind of uh, uh, maybe wanted to step away. But uh, for him, I think. Uh, the season, and he said the season was fun because I asked him about it. This season was taxing on him, and he kind of brushed that off. And like I think this season had been taxing on him, just for given uh, all the circumstances. When you add up, Drew Brees is gone, injuries, COVID, evacuation for a month for a hurricane. I mean, it's that was a lot, and so I, I think that. And then he's at a point where he's his age; he doesn't need the money. He's been at the same job for 16 years. Anyone who works for a living knows, look, it might be a time to step away. And for Sean, I think this is stepping away, but we're not going to be without him. I mean, he's going to be doing something connected to football, whether it's TV or in a couple of years, he'll be back coaching somewhere. Okay, uh, last thing then. What's next for the Saints? Well, when... The, the, the discussion of head coach, uh, you know, candidate will have a say so. And Sean Payton said, "Look, uh, there's a great candidate over there." And Dennis Allen, and Dennis Allen was at the press conference. I know he was scheduled to interview with the Bears. I know he wasn't supposed to be in Chicago, but I, I could tell you, Chicago media is basically exiting him off the list. That uh, they they don't think he's going to be even dealing with the Bears right now. And then when Sean Payton mentioned that. Gail Benson, you heard her chuckle, and then I turned and look, and Dennis Allen's sitting kind of right behind her, and he kind of smiles and kind of ducks his head down and is playing bashful. And look, I, I think he's the prime number one candidate. I know the Saints are going to have to do coaching interviews. I mean, that's part of the NFL uh, cycle, but you have to do interviews. And, of course, the, the Rooney rule does apply here, uh, so you have to do interviews. But uh, look, I – I'd be shocked if he wasn't Dennis Allen, and I think he deserves the job. He is Larry Holder. Of course, uh, you can read stuff at theathletic.com slash New Orleans on Twitter at Larry Holder. Um, busy day, man. Uh, we always appreciate you. You know that. Uh, we'll talk soon. Yeah, you got about it. Take care. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact, and be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.